Hey, this is Nick from Income Digs. Today, we're gonna to talk through how to use QuickBooks Online in 2024. We're gonna go through exactly what this software is and how we can optimize its use for real estate investing. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of a back to basics, make sure we understand exactly what the core functionality of this software is and how it can help us in our business to grow and scale. So let's get into it. What is QuickBooks Online? You've probably seen many commercials for it. It's a really popular software out there. At its core, it's cloud-based accounting software. Okay, and that's key. It's cloud-based, right? Contrary to QuickBooks, QuickBooks Desktop, which was kind of the old way of doing things, QuickBooks Online is cloud-based. You can access it from anywhere on the app, anybody's computer with your login. Really, really dynamic for managing your business from anywhere. It's targeted towards small and medium-sized businesses. So for those of you in real estate investing, if you're just getting started, or even if you have 10, 50 properties even, the software is gonna be able to handle anything that you need to do with it. It's the most popular accounting software in North America at this point in time. Businesses within North America, small and medium-sized businesses, almost all of them are using QuickBooks Online if they have some kind of solution for their accounting. Softwares like Xero are a little bit more popular in Europe and Australia, but right now, QuickBooks Online is absolutely the market leader here in North America. You don't really need to be an accounting expert to use this software. That's one of the cool things about it. Limiting accounting expertise is required, all right? But be careful here. It's really easy to set things up the wrong way. We're going to talk about that a little bit. And at its core, QuickBooks Online generates key financial reports for you and your business so that you can make key decisions to understand where to pivot, where to spend more time, whether it's a market, whether it's a service offering. The core features of QuickBooks Online, there's so, so many, but these are the key things that almost everybody does within QuickBooks Online. So expense tracking, that's kind of the first one. We're going to demonstrate this in a little bit, but basically you have your expenses coming in, you're spending money on your credit card, you're spending money on your bank account and tracking those categories categorizing those, QuickBooks handles that. And it does so with an automated bank integration. So you can log into your bank, have all those transactions come into a nice, neat, clean place. They have a receipt capture functionality. This was new three, four, five years ago or so. You upload a receipt and it's gonna parse out some key information from that, saving you tons of time. It is a robust general ledger. Now this must sound a little bit boring, but for any accounting geeks out there, really what it is is saying it's keeping track of things. It's keeping debits and credits in the right place, ultimately giving us a really sound report. This is something that we can't do if we're using something like Excel or Google Sheets. We just don't have that functionality there. Invoicing, all right? So if we're sending invoices to get paid, whether we're doing this for tenants or we're doing this for construction work that we're con conducting, we're gonna be able to invoice our tenants and our customers so that we can get paid. And of course, we can get paid right through QuickBooks Online as well. Inventory management, this is something that you might do as well. If you sell things, sell physical goods, you can track your inventory right within QuickBooks Online. And then the last one on your project profitability tracking. Now this one is something that QuickBooks Online does, but as you're gonna learn in a little bit, there's different ways we can do it and think about it, especially for real estate investors. When we think about the different projects that we have, there's different ways that we can turn on QuickBooks Online to work for us in our business. Here are some of those key considerations for real estate investors, and I'm gonna demonstrate this in a second. But we wanna think about how do we track financials by property? This is one of those really specific kind of problems to solve for real estate investors is we have a lot of property specific or project specific financial reporting needs. QuickBooks Online can solve some of those, but out of the box might not be the best. We're gonna talk about how we can make it the best for us in our business. How to handle complex renovation expenses. Okay, so a lot of us are doing some budgeting and we wanna track actuals to a really specific level. Rough electric, rough plumbing, HVAC, drywall, etc. How can we get that out of QuickBooks Online? I'm gonna show you how we can do that as well. How to deal with multiple entities. This is another unique unique problem that we have to solve for real estate investors. A lot of us get multiple entities for the various different properties that we buy and how can we get that into QuickBooks Online? What are the different options we have, the choices? What advanced features matter to real estate investors, all right? So QuickBooks Online, the recent years has come out with some really cool dashboarding, some really neat advanced functionality and third-party apps. We're gonna talk about how some of those might be beneficial to our real estate investing business. And lastly, we're gonna talk about the various plans that are available as well and what might be right for you. So let's bounce over to QuickBooks Online. Let me show you exactly what the software does. And we're gonna scratch the surface here and we're gonna talk about areas that we can dive a little deeper. So what I'm displaying right now is your dashboard. And this is an area where about three years ago, QuickBooks Online invested a lot to give you as the business owner some really important financial information as soon as you log in. So now assuming that you enter your information correctly, which is a really big assumption, we gotta make sure we do that, right? We can get some amazing reporting right in our face as we log into the software. Okay, so I have my dashboard here and I should be able to see, am I profitable? What's my profit and loss for the last few months? My expenses, my invoices open, et cetera. And then if we want some more robust reporting, we can go into the reports report section here and we can generate a nice, neat profit and loss report. 
And I always say to my students and those that I work with and coach, it's like the reports is kind of the essential part of the software. Can we get a profit and loss, a P&L statement and a balance sheet really easily? And are we confident that it's accurate? If so, we're doing a good job with our accounting software. There's so much we can do over here, but really at its core, if our dashboard looks good, and is accurate, in addition to our reports being accurate, that's really the end game we're after. So we wanna be able to get that for sure. Now, some of the core functionality, let's look into a little bit of that. The first is going to be almost definitely the first thing that most people do when they sign up for QuickBooks Online is they look at the bank transactions. So you're gonna spend a little bit of time connecting your banks, okay? providing log information. And this is kind of the magic of QuickBooks. It brings all this information in here and then we can categorize it. And basically it's saving us a bunch of work and that we don't have to add these transactions. They're already here. All I need to do is indicate, you know, what account or what category we're spending toward. Okay. So if it's something like building repairs, I can put that in here. I can potentially indicate a customer and click add, it's gonna add it to my set of books. Really nice and neat, okay? So this is one key functionality, is this just receipt capture, the monotonous, tedious action of this, having it in one spot. If those of you who are on Excel are just doing it off book here, this is gonna be the key time saver for you. All right, we also have invoicing. So if we wanna send invoices out, we can have invoices here, okay? So whether we are invoicing our tenants or customers for whom we are doing renovation work. You can see in the sample set of books, we have a ton of invoices here. We can receive payments right through QuickBooks Online. We can set up reminders, late fees, the whole thing. They've really done a good job of enhancing their invoicing feature for sure. The next thing I wanna talk about with you is not only just expenses, but bills. So kind of the opposite side of invoicing would be bills. And this is managing your accounts payable. So if you owe somebody money, a vendor, you can add a bill and that helps you to stay on top of what you owe when. You might not pay this money out right away, but you wanna be able to track how much you owe. Really, really useful. And there's so, so many other features here that we can use. Now, I'm gonna bounce over to kind of a more real estate set of books to talk about the key considerations that we need to keep in mind when we're thinking about real estate. The first thing I want to talk about is property specific reporting. Okay, so can we within QuickBooks Online see our P&L reporter, our profit and loss report by property? This is a key differentiator between real estate and some of the other industries out there that use the set of books. And so we can do that. We can do that in one of two ways. Um, we can do it by what's called class tracking or by customer tracking. Now there's pros and cons to each. I typically recommend uh, class tracking if you can, okay? So class tracking is really, really powerful and I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. I'm gonna go to a profit and loss by property and you can see this report here has profit and loss for a specific year and here's a property, here's a property, here's a property, here's a bunch of properties and here's my income and expenses. Now I have a percent comparison. I could turn that off to simplify this a little bit but here I have a really nice, neat profit and loss by property and this is really what you're after. I'm doing this with class tracking. You don't have to use class tracking. You could use customer tracking. Again, I use class tracking because I feel like it's a little bit more robust and it gives me a cleaner palette here. The other thing is that customer tracking, you're gonna wanna be able to to potentially invoice out to your tenants. So if you're invoicing out to your tenants, then you wanna kind of reserve your customer attribute for your tenants, okay? Now I have a specific video on classes versus customer, the pros and cons of each. One thing I'm gonna go over when we think about the plans and pricing, class tracking is only available on QuickBooks Online Pro and beyond, all right? So keep that in mind. The other thing I wanna talk about is detailing out your renovation expenses. So we talked about how as real estate investors, we're often tracking or at least budgeting to electric, HVAC, plumbing, right? So can we potentially within QuickBooks Online track to that level of detail? And we can absolutely do that with, with what's called the products and services. So within the products and services here, I've uploaded a list of these categories. And these are more detailed than my chart of accounts or my categories to that are going into my P&L or my balance sheet. These are way more detailed, okay? And what we can do with these is we map them to our profit and loss and we say, hey, when I use this account, it's going to map to this expense account. What this opens up for us is a really robust potential for reporting. And actually, I'm gonna show you another way we can track by project, which is the projects tab here. If I go into my project here, I'm gonna see a bunch of rehab expenses. I can drill down into this because I've been using products and services and I can show that level of detail. All right, so not only am I spending money 
but I'm indicating how much I spent on permits, demolition, excavation, et cetera. So that's one area where a lot of people aren't using the feature if they're doing this for real estate investing. So turning on products and services is a crucial key step to unlocking the true potential of this amazing software. The last piece I'll talk about that is specific to real estate investing is the potential to manage multiple entities in one set of books, okay? And this is an advanced technique for sure, but a lot of us have multiple different entities that are single asset entities, right? We own one property and the thing is, we could create separate subscriptions for all of these. In fact, QuickBooks would probably suggest that you do that. The problem is that we have the same setup for all of them. So is our chart of accounts the same, our list of vendors, our saved reports? Is there a way that we can have multiple businesses in one set of books? And the answer is yes, we can turn that on. Just like we did with class tracking, we can turn that on with location tracking. So in the advanced section here, I'm gonna turn on location tracking and we can actually call the location business. When we do that, we can start to add that business to our transactions and we can actually draw up a balance sheet, a PL, et cetera, any kind of report by business. This helps us to have multiple entities in one place. Again, an advanced technique, but something we need to be thinking about as real estate investors or bookkeepers for real estate investors, this is a really common thing that we're gonna be looking at needing to do. It's really powerful to be able to take this balance sheet filter it by business and understand exactly where I am within that business. So that's generally what we're looking at when it comes to QuickBooks Online. And of course, we're just scratching the surface here, but you can see that it, out of the box, it has all these really cool features. We have to think a little bit deeper when we think about for real estate investing. Okay. Now let's talk about the plans that you might be looking to sign up for. So there's four different plans that QuickBooks Online offers, Simple Start, Essentials, Plus, and Advanced, okay? Now I know these prices are not low and they tend to keep going up a little bit, but I'm going to say that if you have a couple properties, one, two, maybe like three properties would probably be my, my threshold here, I think you're gonna really benefit from using QuickBooks Online Plus, all right? That gives you your class tracking, your location tracking, and a bunch of added features that are really, really helpful. You can get away with essentials, for sure. Now, if you use essentials, you're going to need to use the customer field to track by property and that's okay. You can start with essentials and then potentially upgrade as you need to. But generally speaking, myself with my four real estate entities and about 30 units that I manage, as well as most of my customers are on QuickBooks Online Plus. All right. It's a really, really good piece of software here. And again, the plans aren't super cheap. So if you need to start with essentials to get yourself going, that's fine too. If you have an accountant who is in QuickBooks Online, ask them if they can uh, help you out with some pricing. Sometimes what QuickBooks allows you to do is the accountant pays the bill and they actually give them a pretty big discount and then the accountant bills you for it. So I really appreciate your attention here as we go through QuickBooks Online, what you can really do here in 2024 with this amazing software. Now we go deeper into all of these different facets of the software in our end-to-end -end course, Real Estate Accounting Bootcamp. Check that out if you're at all interested. We go super, super deep on all of this and really teach you how to set up QuickBooks Online and manage it day to day for your real estate investing business. If you're an investor yourself or a bookkeeper, you definitely want to check that out. We also have plenty of free resources available at IncomeDigs.com. If you like this video, throw me a comment, throw me a subscribe. I answer all the comments that come through. So if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them here as well. And I'll see you in the next video.